Would you like to a good word from Jesus Christ? Would you like to pray with me? God loves you. So if you'd like to come maybe down to the church at a later date and we can probably pray. And are you sure? Hello? Would you like a leaflet? Would you like the good news from Jesus? There you go. Thank you very much. Are you having a nice day today? I am. I hope so. Hey, excuse me, sir. <laughs> Thank you very much for that anyway. Thanks for being a good sport. Then maybe we should pray together. Are you ready? Dear Lord, thank you for dying for us and for the sacrifice that you made for us on that day. Excuse me, ma'am. Could I interest you in a leaflet about Jesus Christ? We will always remember you forever and we hope that one day that you come again and make things better on this world. Amen. No, I'm, on that long I'm, ago. I'm, I'm sorry to hear that. Jesus loves you, I love you. After the great plague ravaged the earth, we escaped into space where we waited for the signal from God to reclaim our home. Get me Gabriel and the half-breed. Her mother was bitten while she was giving birth. She's very dangerous. You two go down to the surface and find me ten good men. You can send us into that hell. And what if we don't? If you don't, then fire rains down from heaven. Everything, everyone gets burned. The countdown started. You've got less than 12 hours. So, how does it feel to be half a zombie? Half of me wants to eat your guts. The other half just hates your guts. Yeah, um, first of all, I'd like to point out that Paul Renner up there directed Miss Pippi, so it's uh, so he should be down here, but he's obviously embarrassed. So. Yeah, it's uh, two different, totally different stories. Um, they're both for film competitions. Uh, one was for the Virgin Media Shorts, which was which we didn't each actually get into the final for, but it was it's an excuse to make a film, so it's mm -hmm. got to be two minutes, 20 seconds long, and a film of any subject, so I think we racked our brains for for quite a while to get some sort of theme, so we just wanted to do something that was a bit different from what we'd done before, because usually it is sci-fi or, or horror or gangster or something, so we wanted to try and do some alleged comedy, and there we go, so we did that. And then um, the second one is actually in competition now for something called Enter the Pitch. So it's a pitch now, so if anyone is out there, we go on to enterthepitch.com and vote for Wrath, because we need your votes, because it's uh, the, basically the top 20 finalists you, you, the top 20 get into a chance to pitch to industry film people and you win 25 grand to make a bigger longer film so that's hence why we're doing a, a trailer so we did it as a, a trailer format the second with the, the zombie thing I think about 2 minutes 20 is quite frustrating I mean obviously it's not meant it's meant to be that isn't it? but when yeah. I was watching Miss Pippi I was kind of getting I got really into it so yeah. it stopped yeah that's I mean, it's, it, could you actually expand that and is there be a plan to expand that? Something well, else? See, yeah, that, I guess that was. That's the, everything that we do. Usually, if it's um, in shorts or whatever, usually we try and make it so there's it get you know gathers some sort of interest. So other, so other so people might see it and think, well, we might throw some money at that, or we might give you some more money, or people are interested, so they know there's a more of a story. We did a, a thing again with David Davies over there. He's a great actor. He's he's been in a lot of our films. He's the the one of the angels there, and um, we did something about a, a just a, another two minute twenty second long thing where. It was about a convict who was who had been kidnapped by a hitman, was about to be killed, and he was digging a tunnel. So, and the end of that was, you know, what happens after that. So it's always something about trying to find. There's another story there, so people, like you say, are interested and they're engaged in it and they want to find out more. The Miss Pippi one actually worth from worth for me when he's just actually standing in the street giving out the leaflets. I yeah, that was a really fantastic, fantastically simple. Yeah, and also funny as well at the same time. Yeah, that's it's yeah it's something because I think that's something we try to do is we try to do something that's a little bit you know we don't what, what you don't expect so I think that particular film is something where you just think it's going to be some sort of real life slice of life documentary you know kind of real life and and then it takes a a, a, a right angle turn and goes into something which is you know maybe a little bit horrific then maybe a little bit of comedy and whatever so just trying to play with the genres and do something that's unexpected so I guess you know that's. 
that's the thing that engages people, I think. You know. So the second film, would, it, would there be a plan to make that something longer? That's the plan, yeah, if we, if we get anywhere near the final, which is, like I say, is in January, so remember, enterthepitch.com. <laughs> um, Wrath, W-R-A-T-H. Please go online and vote for us, because we do need your votes. Um, but yeah, if we, if we get enough votes, we get into the finals, we pitch to people like Nick Park, who's the, the Wallace and Gromit guy, and, uh, and you get a trip to Hollywood to pitch it to you know, industry people. I think it was the guy who did X-Men um, Origins and stuff like that. So I think what we've learned is, you know, you can't sort of sit around and wait for other people to make your films for you. Because originally we started out as screenwriters and we wrote a lot of, we've written some award-winning screenwriters, like screenplays in, in America and stuff that have won, done really well. But, you know, we realised it very quickly that you can't wait for other people to do it. So you've got to do it yourself. So basically it's, this is actually a competition just to make the pitch. Yeah, well, it's, yeah. it's well, it's we, we, it was twofold really. It was to to make it as a calling card because I think it kind of stands on its own the zombie thing. So, you know, I think I was talking to my friend over there about going viral and stuff, and hopefully that's the idea with a lot of this stuff is to get kind of some kind of viral element to it and people pass it around. And you know, anyone who's a fan of The Walking Dead or any kind of zombie sci-fi stuff, it's you know, there's a lot of freaky nerds out there who pass this stuff around, and I'm one of them. <laughs> and um, you know, and you do, you send the stuff around and that's that's the idea. So if there's a zombie thing or a, a sci-fi thing, and I think our, uh, the, the, the chap who was on before was talking about being space heads and stuff, and it is, there's a, you know, there's a big community out there who love to send that. So it stands on its own, I think, without, you know, you wouldn't know that it was in a competition. You'd think it was a, a trailer for a bigger film. And I think that's kind of the thing we're on at the moment as well, is like doing trailers for stuff is a great way of getting industry, you know, interest, so, you know, get some interest from people who, throw some more dosh at it, you know. It was, it's, it's, I mean, it's so contrasting, those two clips. I mean, obviously, you didn't make the first one, you worked on it. I mean, um, how hard is it to make, like, the second one look really effective, you know, because like, you, you're basically creating a whole world. Yeah. With, with, well, I think that's the question movie. I asked before about that guy we spoke on um, Skype before, he got 12 grand. We did Miss Pippi for 300 quid. Mm. And um, that and the second, and the wrath, well, the wrath, wrath was about a grand. Mm. And that, a lot of that was on pizza. <laughs> <laughs> and makeup from Tequila, who did a great job there. Tequila was uh, really good on the. He did all the zombie stuff. He's never done anything like that before. So you know that was a pretty remarkable job what she did. And um, you know, and like I say, on Miss Pippi Jeb up there, who did the cat stuff. You know, and that's just things like that you don't really think about. Is you know, you've got to pay for the prosthetics and stuff. So you know, and it's all most well, it's all self-funded. So so not just like good imagination, but also good blagging as well. A lot of friends, a lot of favors. A guy called Damien Grady. And, Danny up there who did the sound and the a lot of the, the editing for Wrath, which I think he's he done a superb job with that. Um, uh, he, you know, it's a lot. It's just favors, you know, and a lot of sound. The sound on Wrath is really good, and Danny done that as well. And you know, I'm just really proud of the team I've you know got together, and they're all here tonight. I think for somebody who's coming up for four minutes worth of film, it's great to see everyone here. You know, and they've, they've done a you know an amazing thing. John and Joe and all the zombies and Tom and there. You know, it's just you know the people who showed up. Martin and Holly who did the. All the makeup stuff, you know, it's great to see people who are behind it because they believe in it. And I think that's part of it, you know. We're, we're, it is blagging, but it's also just sort of, you know, people want to be part of being making a film. So, so, so what's your background? Is your background a lot of this kind of film? Uh, that's our, I think, Wrath is about our eighth film, seventh or eighth little short film that we've done in the past two and a half years, and all self-funded. Um, we, I think we did one called Apocalypse Girl. It was about ten, about ten minutes long. We showed here earlier this year. And, I went. I approached a local marketing agency over in Leeds to get it. So you know, to get some money, and they gave us a, a grand to make that. And um, yeah, it's just you know, I guess it's just one of those things. You just you know, you want to make film, you've got to find the money to do it and and do it. And we we haven't had any funding, so that's why you know, it's it's, it's precious. It's so precious if people have got some funding. It's you know, it's amazing for me. Is that? So you just have to keep making these shorts and hopefully get the break to make the, the film you want to make. Well, yeah, that's that's the that's the idea. You know, we've got a. We've got an idea about making a sort of a 20 minute short next year which is going to be kind of more gangster orientated and that's the you know if, uh, you know we're already just writing a script we're writing a sort of a long script for Wrath um, the, the zombie thing just so you know because it's always been said to me because I've got lucky I've got some friends in the industry who've said to me you know that it's all very well having calling cards but you need a script to back it up so we're writing a script for that we're writing a script for a 20 minute longer thing mm -hmm. a gangster thing next year and like I say, Wrath uh, was shot in uh, Southport and a little bit in Manchester, and um, uh, Miss Pippi was shot in Liverpool, in Kirby. So you know, mm -hmm. it's all 
northwest sort of stuff, and where you know it's really been it's just a great place to to make films here because there's so many great locations like the bloke before with the pool and stuff like that. It's a great location, you know. Yeah, it's a fantastic place. Yeah, it is. Yeah. It's it's amazing. So. Yeah. So just 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 want to ask you know, all the characters in Miss Pippi were they actually was actually real people or was, was it a mixture of actors and real people? Uh, it was a mixture of mm. all real people. Some, yeah, some of the actions were just so brilliant. You well, just Rick, Rick was the DOP, and that's near his it's his house. I think it's his mum and dad's house. We showed up there, and uh, we kind of knew what, what we were going to do. So mm. we just uh, just approached some of the local kind of interesting locals, and there's one clip on there that you haven't seen is when we there's a. It was actually a, a, a guy who was, waiting, I think he was waiting, waiting for his methadone fix and I went and approached him and I think I think I sent him back on the drugs. So like, <laughs> <laughs> we didn't want to know, you know, so it was, uh, yeah, it was all just, yeah, just, you know, get a camera and go and shoot and that's pretty much the attitude we've got. So. Well, that's what I really liked about the one. I really liked mm. the interaction between you and, the real, and just people walking up the streets and the things that people said, like, I'm just going to get me bus. It's, it's just gold. Well, it's yeah, true, like, yeah. I mean, because it's yeah. the thing, if you've ever done like, you know, pitching to people on the street or tried to hand out leaflets or done any door to door selling, you just, you know, it's, 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 it's hard when you're on the other end. You know, it's easy to say no, but it's the, you know, when people slam doors in your face or tell you to F off or whatever mm -hmm. it is, it can be very demotivating. And I've been there, I haven't, you know, worked through me, through my life, I've done door to door stuff and all sorts. So it is quite demeaning, but, you know, mm -hmm. and I guess it's just, you know, just like I say, I'm very lucky I've got the team that I've got around me, you know, it's like from, from like Dave who does the stills, who's been a part of all my films, um, Dave Berryman, the photographer, and he's been there all the way through, and some people chip in, so that thing with the nun, you know, when he approaches the nun, that was, she just showed up, so it was like, get the camera ready, get the camera ready, and then we just went and did it. And she was very polite, you know, I mean, she wanted me to buy a raffle ticket as well, so <laughs> which is great, so I think I got, I would have won a, a box of cookies, I think, was it? yeah. Did you tell her you weren't actually real? No, 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 I just played, stayed in, stayed yeah, in yeah. Yeah, true that professional. That would have been cruel, wouldn't it? Hey? It would have been cruel, yeah. It would have been a bit cruel, yeah. <laughs> there you go, so yeah, it was, I think it's all very, uh, you know, it's all, it's all done in, in, in fun spirit. And I think she realised there was a bit of a prank going on. So, yeah. Yeah, she, she, was, she was a good sport, yeah. Okay, so uh, any questions? Um, when I first saw Wrath, I thought I was actually experiencing the uh, trailer to a film that's already out there. That's I was good. very impressed. Mm -hmm. the quality of it, but I was even more impressed when you said you've only spent a thousand pounds. Yeah. So have you found in your experience uh, that the determination and your imagination having to find ways of doing things because you haven't got the funding, have you found that as valuable as the idea of getting, you know, potted money to do a film? Was that complex? Had you a it was a little bit, I'm sort of, I think I know what you're saying, yeah. Um, I think, like I said, right, we're, we're writing something for next year, or well, yes. for, for, for soon, that we, we're sort of going to base it, because reality does kick in, so mm -hmm. I think the next thing we're going to do is going to be set in a garage, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and you know, like for budget-wise, and that when we're going to spend more on probably like getting like actors, you know, proper sort of people that can actually act, you know, because <laughs> I don't mean that disrespectfully, but, you know, for me, you know, because I, I'm not an actor either, and I'm just, but it's just, you know, you've got to just, as I say, make ends do meet, so we're going to spend more on sort of getting, yeah. getting those sort of things, and yeah, you do sort of learn that, it's, you know, the money does, does run out pretty quickly, and, you know, you can't have a cast of thousands, you've got to make do with what you've got, so. Well, it's taken for granted so much, funding is taken for granted so much. Mm. And people have been put this in a situation, including ourselves, where you have to use your imagination yep. and think of ways of doing something that you really need to do with the enthusiasm and the passion behind it. And you think, Christ, just think of it, if I had the money, I probably would have gone out and spent it on it rather than sitting around and making it somehow. Yeah, that's but, yeah. that's definitely the case. I mean, it's usually I'm the one who bullies everyone into doing stuff, do you know what I mean? So, you know, it's 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 that when you've got the, you know, if you've got an idea, you've got to see it through, I think, yeah. and that's... You know, so by hook or by crick, you've got to get on with it. So you know, if you haven't got money to offer people, then you've got to mm -hmm. basically hit them with a stick. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, any more? Okay. Thanks okay. a lot. No worries.